A non-commissioned officer was in charge of repairing a building during the American Revolution. As his men were struggling to move a heavy beam, he continued barking orders at them. But they couldn't do it. It was way too heavy. A man passed by and asked the officer why he wasn't helping the men. Sir, I am a corporal. He replied with all the pride and haughtiness of an emperor. You are, are you? replied the passers-by. I was not aware of that. Then taking off his hat and bowing, he said, I ask your pardon, corporal. Then the stranger walked over and strained with the soldiers to lift the heavy beam. After the job was finished, he turned and said, Mr. Corporal, when you have another such job and have not enough men, send for your commander in chief and I will come and help you a second time. The corporal was quite surprised because the person speaking to him was General Washington. God wants humble people, people who will represent his son who described himself as gentle and humble of heart. Micah 6.8 says, And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God. Jesus said, For everyone who exalts himself will be humbled, and he who humbles himself will be exalted. Whoever exalts himself will be humbled. Who humbles himself will be exalted. So how can you be great in the kingdom? Humble yourselves before the Lord and he will exalt you. That's what James writes. We had to humble ourselves before the Lord.